Jeez. I've really got to stop this habit. God. Okay. <laughs> In this video, I want to share eight very important habits that you need to stop doing, but but <laughs> they're not things like biting your nails or eating fast food or staying up way too late. No, you, you know that already, but these habits that I'm going to share with you actually pack a punch and they hit pretty hard. So grab something to write with and you know, you may want to hold on to your seat. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. So the first bad habit on my list is being with or around people who do not appreciate you. Ooh, I'm gonna say it again. Being with or around people who do not appreciate you. See, you wanna surround yourself with people who are encouraging, who are positive, who are full of energy, who love you for being you, who are supportive, not the opposite. If the person you're around or the person you're with is just tolerating you and not appreciating you, then that's a really, really big issue and you need to correct that. So make sure that you're not surrounding yourself or that you're not with people who do not appreciate you. That's so very important and that's why it's the first thing on my list. And number two is consuming too much media or maybe I should say too much of the wrong media. Now, as someone who is practicing minimalism and intentional living in all aspects of my life, right? Physically, mentally, and emotionally, I'm extremely conscious of what I bring into my life. And I'm conscious of that because everything that I consume and everything that you consume has a direct effect on you. The way you think, the way you act and react to situations, everything, right? It has a direct effect on everything about you. So you wanna be extremely conscious of what you're consuming and how much of that you're actually consuming. You wanna make sure you're always consuming positive, energetic, motivating, forward-looking things, not negativity or anything like that. So be conscious of what you're consuming and how much you're consuming. And if you're consuming too much of the wrong thing, it's a bad habit, you need to correct it. The third bad habit on my list is focusing too much of your energy, your time, and everything in between on negative things and negative people. So negative things first, right? If you're constantly thinking negatively, if you're constantly consuming negative things, if you're constantly looking at everything in your life as negative, 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 you're going to give off negativity. It's going to change the way you act, change the way, change what you believe, change the way you think. But if you also are focusing too much of your time and energy on negative people, on people who are surrounding you and constantly have something to say that the naysayers, right? The naysayers always have something to say about something negative about everything, right? You don't want to surround yourself with those people. You don't want to think negatively because again, that has a very strong effect on you, the way you act, the way you react. And, and honestly, the direction your life is going to be headed in. So make sure you course correct, stay focused on positivity, stay focused on the things that make you happy you happy and i promise you things will start to change number four is comparison now i don't think i have to explain this but it is very important that is why i added it to my list if you're finding yourself in a very comparison state of mind where everything you look at and everyone you surround yourself with or everyone that you see on social media or in your in your life in your workplace whatever it is and you're constantly comparing yourself to what they have to the way they're projecting themselves or what you think they have then that's a bad habit. You, you you can't compare yourself to other people, right? You're just, you're just messing yourself up, setting yourself up for failure, honestly. And I can speak from experience with this because I've compared myself to a lot of people and it's steered me down some wrong paths and it's steered me down some confusion, especially because it took me a while to really figure out who I was and to be happy with who I am and to understand what I value and what makes me happy. So if you're comparing yourself to anyone or anything, you need to stop. You need to readjust your, your mindset, your perspective on life, on your life. And again, break that bad habit and find happiness in you and the things that you value. So the fifth bad habit is procrastination. Now, I want to speak on this from the perspective of pursuing a minimalist or intentional lifestyle. And if you're in that position and you're, you're frustrated or you're overwhelmed with where you currently are in your life, and you just want to make make a change. Right. But you're you keep putting it off because you just don't quite know where to start or how to start. 
I definitely have a lot of videos here on my channel about how to start, where to start, encouraging you on your minimalist or intentional living journey to live your best life. And I'll leave a playlist here. I really wanna encourage you to check that out, but you have to figure out what's causing you to procrastinate. It doesn't necessarily have to be within your minimalist and intentional living journey. It can be in any other aspects of your life as well, but you have to figure out what it is that's causing you to procrastinate. And a part of doing that is figuring out your why. If you don't have a why for what you're trying to do, it's very hard to get motivated. It's very hard to get started. And it's very hard to continue those habits once you start them. And number six is beating yourself up whenever you make a mistake. You know, we're human, we all make mistakes, but you have to learn from them. You can't hold on to them, you can't beat yourself up. And again, I'm speaking from experience because as a collegiate athlete in my in my past life, you know, as a track and field athlete, and even in my creative uh, journey my, with my writing and my poetry and my books and things like that, I'm constantly beating myself up whenever I make a spelling error or whenever I didn't jump as far as I knew I could jump. Uh, back in my track career, I was constantly beating myself up and that did no good. That really threw me back or pushed me back further than where I was if I had to just looked at it, learn from it and apply the corrections I need to apply in order to improve the next time. So I really wanna encourage you to stop beating yourself up. Stop the bad habit of beating yourself up whenever you make a mistake. Learn from the mistake that you made, figure out what you need to correct so next time you reach that point in your life or next time you try that action or next time you do that step or whatever it is, you don't make the same mistake and you can progress on your journey. Number seven is quitting when things get tough. Now, I wanna give you some simple motivation behind this that I'm sure you've heard before. If it was easy, everyone would do it. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Now, whatever it is in your life that you're pushing towards, that you're working towards, that goal that you set for yourself, that you're chasing after, when things get tough, don't quit. When things get tough, don't give up. When things get tough, figure out why they're tough for you. Figure out what you need to do to correct that issue, to overcome that hurdle in your life. There, there are always gonna be hurdles in whatever you try to pursue in your life. There are always going to be hurdles in whatever you decide to pursue in your life. You have to figure out how to overcome those hurdles and keep pushing towards your goals. So let's take minimalism again, for example. If you're decluttering your life, all aspects of your life, physically, mentally, and emotionally, but you just feel like you're not making any progress, you just feel like, I, I'm letting things go, but it just doesn't feel like I'm, I'm, I'm freeing myself of anything. Figure out why. why, why do you feel that way? Is there something in your heart? Is there something still clouding your mind? Something that you need to let go of from, from years ago or a past hurt that someone has caused on you? Maybe some of those things are causing that, that hurt on your life, that toughness to overcome that you're feeling. And, and instead of quitting, pushed through that, right? If it was easy, everyone would do it. Keep that in mind. So before I share the eighth bad habit that I have on my list, first, I'm really hoped that you're enjoying this video. If you are, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. But if this is your first time tuning in, welcome to my channel. I talk about minimalism and intentional living, but also share my creativity and ways to build on your habits here as well. So if you enjoy either of those things, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell so you're notified every time I drop a video. Okay, I need to, I need to sit up for this one. The eighth bad habit that I have on my list and the final habit that I wanna mention is seeking approval. Now, if you're in a position in your life where you feel like you have to seek approval for whatever it is that you're doing, you know, I'm choosing to live a minimalist lifestyle and an intentional way of living my own life, but I need approval before I do it. Or I have this goal over here and I wanna I want to achieve it. I wanna I want to strive for it, but I need approval before I take the first step. If that's you, I wanna encourage you to stop thinking that way before it gets out of hand. You don't need approval to be you. You don't need approval to stay true to you. And you definitely don't need approval to be happy and to do what makes you happy. I mean, that, that sounds crazy to, to even think about if you needed approval to be happy and to be yourself. You don't. Be you, stay true to you, and always be happy in, in whatever you decide to do in your life. I really hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure you give a thumbs up for me. Like I said, a little bit of a different format. I just wanna provide some honest, just straight at you value. So if you enjoyed it, like I said, give it a thumbs up for me. And always remember, stay true to you. See you in the next one. Peace.